Did she just say this was a weird elevator? That is a weird elevator. I think she'll maybe so say it again. That's a weird elevator. It is a movie about a weird elevator. 1986, Up All Night. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jason from Barefoot. This is Squeaky Clean Adult Films. How you doing? Pause for audience reaction. It's Sunday, so that means one you've never seen before. This film was 85 minutes. We got it down to 12. This is our 10th Richard Mailer. We got five angels from the Angel series. We have three switch hitters. We have Taste of Money and Business as Usual. Number 11, Up All Night. Hey, didn't I talk about this in um, Angel's Back? Bet you I did. Here, I'll scoot out of the way. Can anyone find me Up All Night? Please, Up All Night. Richard Baylor has a film called Up All Night. It's about a visible alien. Do I need to get worked up? It's about an invisible alien. This movie is about an invisible alien who takes over an elevator. What a cool idea. This movie does have a flaw, the sound mix. I'm sorry that some of the voiceover is hard to hear, but you know what? Sometimes that's the price you pay for good art. Here is something that I can understand. One of the coolest things that Dick does in this movie. You know, he's always doing something that's socio-political, whether we're fighting against sexism or racism. Here we have a little nod to the environment. The little alien floating around. I think I'll scan the environment. This is a good place to settle. <laughs> what? He put in a cough after that. I think that's brilliant. The aliens talking about, oh, this is a good spot. <coughs> I've talked enough. I'm going to be in the end. So pop in if you want to hear a little bit more about Richard Mailer. But up all night. Okay, let's watch it. You are confirmed for 4 o'clock tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Anything new and exciting, Stella? No, sir. Oh, I think we should speak to the uh, building superintendent about the elevator. The elevator? What's the problem with the elevator? I don't know exactly. Uh, possibly the air conditioning. Coming up this morning, I felt sort of, well, hot. I suppose you can talk to the superintendent, although I've never noticed anything wrong with the elevator. I'm just glad that rickety thing gets me up and down here every day. Wow. Disgusting. 
I've never seen this place before. Oh, Lord! What is this? Where are we? Wow. Bobby's elevator repair, can I help you? Yes, you can. This is Mario Boa from the Antoine building. I'm the manager over here. And is this the elevator, elevator service that we use? Yeah, it is. Oh, good. Because we seem to be having some sort of strange problems uh, with our elevators. And I'm getting real tired of the uh, complaints I'm having. Oh, I know that elevator. I was just in that on my inspection tour. That is a weird elevator. I don't remember why, though. But anyways, I can fix it. I'll be in your area today, okay? I'll come by, and I'll take care of it. Okay, well, fine, then. I'll uh, see you this afternoon. Okay. Goodbye. Okay, bye. <sighs> That's a weird elevator. Oh, no. This could be trouble. If I don't handle this right, I could get my juice cut. I really don't know, ma'am. Do you know what floor this is? Well, I don't know, but I have the distinct feeling that this is not the supply room. I know the minute that the elevator person gets here. Thank you. Yes, Carol? Mr. Bowler, Bobby's elevator service is here to see you. Well, it's about time. Send her right in. Those people. What happened to you? I'm not sure. Well, just sit down a second. I'll get you a cup of coffee. You tell me about it. What happened? Mr. Bola? Uh-huh? I went to fix your elevator, and now I realize there's nothing wrong with it. What do you mean there's nothing wrong with it? Oh, thank you. Here. You me. have an alien presence. <laughs> an alien presence? Are you sure? Before I started repairing elevators, I used to be president of my UFO chapter. I know my stuff. Oh, I see. Look, I'll get right on it. That's ridiculous. I'm not going to buy this. I mean, an alien? That's ridiculous. Look, I've seen this before. This alien got into a limo in San Francisco and he wrecked havoc in the financial district. <laughs> you can stick this alien. You're nuts. No, there's, there's no alien, alien in my building. No, not in my I building. Know. 
There's no way you're going to ever, ever have me believe in aliens. It's just no way. No way. I'm telling you. Mr. Hand, there is no way you're going to ever... I'm going to try to give it a shock treatment, okay? been talking about this one for a while so i hope you liked it randy west and time byron amazing they're always awesome joanna storm natasha schuyler add to the coolness of the cast but stacy donovan steals the show i don't even mind i had to cut all around her bibs so many scenes i had to cut because she's not wearing anything under her overalls or bibs, wherever you're from, whatever you call them. Sometimes it would get a little too hot for TV, a little too hot for YouTube. She's amazing. She's on my, she's climbing the ladder of my new favorite. And it's not just cause she's it's beautiful. It's acting. Her acting is top notch and she's pretty popular, but I don't re even recall ever seeing her before Richard Mallor's holiday for angels, 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 angels. She was the one drinking that Elfade. This movie is about a weird elevator. I said that in the beginning. The lift, elevator, devil, the shaft. Add up all night to the list of weird elevators. Someone made an elevator. Well, it was scenes, but at IMDb, you can look at um, an entire list. Movies with really cool elevator scenes, as well as movies about elevators. I'm adding up all night. Have you seen Hotel Paradise? We did that. They have an awesome, elevator scene. I'll link it. 
I wonder if I can tune in to their thoughts. So this alien, he can read thoughts. He can also play puppet master and kind of control the environment. He's also sentient. If I don't handle this right, I could get my juices cut off. So he's aware, he's cognitive. This is a G-rated version of Up All Night. Go ahead and hit me with some slaughter. For you Richard Mailer heads out there, I'm working on the three remaining angels. One is tough. I've been working on Up All Night for almost a month. It was gonna be the Sunday's new drop for the last three Sundays in a row. Thank you for watching, I appreciate you guys. Don't subscribe, don't like, don't share, just watch. That old blah, blah, bliggity, blah, blah. We have a PayPal button down below if you feel so inclined. I gotta go.